And I want action. Harry, watch out. I swear, George, I'm missing at least three ribs. Even Adam didn't lose that many for Eve. Well, Harry, I'm going to keep my own ribs out of this. She's your headache. I know Mrs. Hampton. And she's perhaps the sweetest, most charming client we have. Why, it's a delight every time she walks into my office. George, you better keep these. You're in worse shape than I am. Well, I find her to be gentle, cooperative, considerate. And... Oh, Mrs. Hampton, what a delight to see you. I was just talking about you. I, I was mentioning uh, how, how much our uh, firm values you as a client and how endearing we find you as a person. I only hope your ears weren't burning. Not at all. Do you mind if the headache sits down? <laughs> no, no. Uh, allow me. Thank you, Mr. Baxter. I'm here on an urgently important matter. I've already explained it to Mr. Knoll without getting any particular satisfaction. And I feel that you may be the person to help me. Well, while you're explaining it to Mr. Baxter, I'll just run back to my office for a moment. You'll recall that about two years ago, my grandson married against my wishes. Yes, I remember. An Italian girl. He brought her recently to this country. Well, the grandson's in the army. Uh, I think he's stationed somewhere in the... Am I explaining this or are you? Well, uh, they uh, had a child, didn't they? A little boy. I drew up Mrs. Hampton's will. The child will inherit the bulk of the estate. I've taken every provision for that child. I've taken care of its entire life. I've already registered in the best schools. And I've planned the career right down to the last detail. He'll have nothing to be concerned about in life. All he'll have to do is live it. I've taken care of everything else. Yes, yes, that's obvious. Uh, where is the child now? Kidnapped. Kidnapped? By whom? His mother. Well, Mrs. Hampton. You can hardly accuse a mother of kidnapping her own child. Who can't? I can. She took him away from my house where he belongs. And if your law firm wishes to continue to represent me, you will get him back. Carla, Carla, non c'è nulla da temere, non da Isla. Isla è una brava donna e la mia migliore amica. Tu non sai quante volte mi ha aiutato quando ero in pasticci. What are you telling her? Uh, she is my niece and she is afraid uh, somebody will take the baby from her. Why should anybody want to take the baby? Uh, the great-grandmother, Mrs. Anton. She is trying to get custody. That's why uh, Carla ran away. She doesn't want Mrs. Anton uh, to get possession of the baby. Ma che cosa le stai dicendo? Sto raccontando alla signora Anton che cosa posso fare. Non si parla in inglese? A little. Sì. Sì, si parla in inglese. Ma perché Mrs. Hampton pensa che ha il diritto al bambino? Oh, um, you want I uh, say English uh, to you? Sì? Sì, I mean, yeah. Ok. Um, the baby... Um, la bisnonna è un tipo molto freddo, non ha calore, non sente amore, non, non ha niente, non sente nessun sentimento per nessuno. E non voleva neanche che sposassi mio marito, ha detto che l'avrebbe diseredato. Questo è il tipo di idea, è una fredda calcolatrice. E invece mio marito è sempre così gaio, è sempre così allegro. Ci siamo conosciuti in Italia. Oh, è stato un colpo di fulmine. Signora Eson, mi creda, mai nessuno si è voluto così tanto bene. E poi invece siamo venuti in America. Se non che quando è andato a prestare il servizio militare, eh, quella donnaccia si è fatta vedere per quello che è. Ah, voleva portarmi via il bambino. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Just let's rest a second. This conversation's wearing me out. I, I wanted to learn Italian, but I, I just ain't got the face for it. George, let's not kid ourselves. She means it. I know she does. We could probably lose her as a client. How are we going to find the girl and the baby? We can't notify the police. She doesn't want any publicity. Now hold it, Harry. She said the girl didn't have very much money, so chances are she's still somewhere in town. If I were a beautiful Italian girl, where would I go? George. If you were a beautiful Italian girl, you wouldn't have to go anywhere. I'd take you. <laughs> the girl speaks very little English, so she's probably made friends with Italian-speaking people. 